I'm going to show you the best way to find that hidden evidence to submit to the VA for your VA claims. And what we're going to use is Veteran AI's newest tool, which is our C file analyzer. And this, for context, was the most requested feature by far. People wanted this before they wanted VA integration because your C file has everything in it to get your claim approved, especially for those service connection um, cases. And what I'm talking about is if you need to know the one day that you went to medical and complained about those migraines, I know you went to medical, like who does that? But you did, and it's inside your service treatment records. Well, guess what? This is the tool to help you find that exact document. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I got a fresh uh, profile here. This is a on a free tier profile, but it is not a free tool. This is by far our most expensive thing to run because we are actually running our own AI and our own GPUs, which if you know anything about AI startups, it is very expensive to do those things. So we are here. I click C file analysis. I'm going to now select my C file. So the first thing that we do is we actually look at the file itself and we determine how big the file is. And that actually goes into the cost you're going to see here. So it'd be completely transparent with everybody listening. Um, our assumption was that everybody has a C file of about 2000 pages or less. And that's what the pricing is based on. So if you want to, you can sign up for an annual plan and you'll get a C file for up to 2000 pages. And you could do a uh, one-time payment for $200. And that will also include uh, 2000 pages. If there's more pages, we can support that, but there's an additional $20 charge for every thousand pages over that 2000 page limit. Being as transparent as I can, but again, I want to emphasize that we are doing this in the most private way we can possibly do this. I'm going to go ahead, let's select annual right here, and uh, we'll be right back after all the payment stuff is done. Okay, so I've completed the payment. I'm back on here. And again, this is the one part that we do need to work on. We understand you're going to have to reselect the same file. So it's very important you select the same file that you already paid for. Go ahead, hit that. This is your last chance to confirm that everything is good. Big things that we see here, this line right here, it cannot be password protected. If it is password protected, we obviously cannot read it. So you need to make sure that there are no passwords associated with this file. Cannot stress this enough. Um, it is very important you do that. Go ahead, hit that. Okay, so your file has been uploaded. Most important thing here is to turn off the computer, go touch some grass, and go, maybe go grab a beer or something like that because it's going to be 12 to 96 hours before this is done. It takes time to do what we are doing. This is not something that can just be done on a chat GBT. So go touch some grass, and we'll be back once it's done. Okay, so now we are here with all of our conditions laid out in front of us. And it is very important to understand our intent behind this. We did not want to necessarily say these are the VA conditions. We wanted to find conditions, just general things that happen to you in service. What can uh, you know this be related to? I don't know. Not every medical record tells you why this occurred. This could have occurred because... I don't know, you were saving somebody's life and you broke your toes in the process of that. And, you know, maybe that's a stressy, a stressor related event. And this could potentially be some evidence for that stressor. Again, that's not something that's always very transparent and easy to understand when looking at medical records. So we wanted to make sure we were still capturing that. And it is still something that you, the veteran who should know why you had broken toes, um, could use in their claim. So very important to understand that. The other thing is you can look here, let's look at the fractured toes and you can see the source document is right here. Okay. So that is a single medical file within this entire VA, um, C file, much easier than going through the quite literal thousands of pages to validate this happened. 
And you notice here we have different badges like service connected and secondary. Uh, we also have aggravated uh, ones as well. So if it looks at an entrance exam, it finds all the potentially aggravated claims you could apply for. Again, very important you understand that because aggravated claims need to be treated differently than a direct service connected claim. Again, secondary conditions, these would be things that happen after your service. You can view here, you know, it's right there, located at that page um, in your C file. Again, the other thing that is not shown here that is done um, that we will roll out here hopefully in the coming weeks after our VA integration is that we also extracted out uh, prescriptions that you are on. And then again, we're going to be able to relate those to disabilities or to your condition specifically. Again, the idea there is it is to help you and again, give our AI additional context. Okay. So if for whatever reason, let's say um, you want to, I don't know, let's go ahead right there. Let's go ahead and create that one. So you can click that. You can hit create disability. You can, and this is your list. And you can see here you have fracture of your foot and you can see this little badge. At any time you can come over here to the far right hand side on sources and you can see um, basically um, what the AI considers like the summary or the synopsis of this document. And you can see here is from, you know, this, this hospital on this date and yeah. So pretty darn cool. Uh, it does quite a bit. And, uh, there's a, again, a few more things that it's already pulling that, you know, we haven't quite shown yet, but I promise you the data is there. And again, it is going to help you out quite a bit. So, with all that said and done, um, again, please let us know if we're doing something right. If we're doing something wrong, hit us up. Uh, we're more than happy to try to fix it. As always, join our Discord. You know, we really do appreciate you guys uh, giving us your direct feedback and helping us out with like things like our VA integration. Like that's a very big deal, and we want you guys to tell us what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So with that, I got nothing else. Y'all take care. See you.